Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today, as you will have seen by the thumbnail, we are going to be going through my huge box of makeup that I have that I haven't tried yet. There's a lot. This is going to be a long one, so grab a drink and a snack. I think you're going to need it. Um, if you want to know what I have on my face, I will have everything listed in the description box below. Um, I do have on my eyes, though I will show you this, the Lois Cosmetics Gone Rogue palette. Look at that. She's so pretty. Um, but yeah, that's what I have on my eyes, so I'll pop that out of the way and we will crack on because there's a lot to get through. Um, I'm going to go with primers first. So we'll go with the eye ones. Um, firstly, um, this did actually bust <laughs> in the post, but I have the P. Louise Rumour base, the white one. Um, I've been really intrigued to try this, especially with pastel colours, etc. So you will be seeing this in... I, I think I've got enough here for a few full faces of first impressions, or at least nearly. Um, so that's the first one. Then I have this Morphe eyelid primer. Um, it says, what does it say? Oh, defend your artistry. Okay, translucent. So this is a translucent one, which wouldn't usually be my thing, but it came along with uh, a couple of other items I got. So we have that to try. And then next up for eye primers, we have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 plus hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. I'm hoping that it lives up to uh, those claims, uh, but we shall see. And then we have the one that everyone raves about, and that is the Anastasia Eye Primer. So uh, I've got a little one of this to try out. And uh, fingers crossed, this is gonna be, well, one of these is gonna be my perfect eye primer. I'm hoping. Oh, shaking you there. And next, face primers. I have two new ones. Um, I have the Catrice Tensational 10 in 1 Dream Primer and this one says priming, hydrating, anti-wrinkle, natural glow, anti-pollution, anti-oxidation, -oxida pore minimizing, evens out skin tone, blurs imperfections, UV protection SPF 15. So yeah it's quite it's a reasonable price um, I think how much it was about five pound five ninety nine something like that um i got it on just my look and uh you get 30 mils but yeah i'm, I'm loving catrice stuff at the moment i have the um hd liquid coverage foundation on i really enjoy that so uh i thought i'd give this a go so that will be coming up and then next i have this becca velvet blurring primer apricot haze and there's 30 mil of this let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like do i need the box no it's got everything written on it we'll get rid of the box um so this is the becca velvet blurring primer perfecting base and oh it has a pump so I like the sound of that. So I just want to have a quick look. And it's quite a runny consistency. Oh, okay. Feels quite nice on the hand. But I can really judge how makeup sits on top of it. But yeah. I don't know if you can really see that it's done anything to my hand, but that's that. And next up, oh, I have one concealer, and it is the Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer Hyaluronic Acid Waterproof 18 Hour Hydrating. Um, I saw Angelica Lirima use this um, in a video I watched of hers this morning, and 
Yeah, a few people seem to really enjoy this. I got the shade 020 Warm Beige. So, fingers crossed, it is the right colour. <laughs> Poppy's off. Moving on to foundations, I have um, this EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation um, in the shade 4. Um, yep, I haven't got my glasses on to read those that's super super tiny super tiny letters i can't read that um yes yeah, so we've got this one to try out um i also have the urban decay stay naked um everything's so shiny <laughs> with this light, the ring light i'm not used to this ring light yet um so yes this is the is that better? Stay naked. Um, I have this in the shade 40NN and uh, it says weightless liquid foundation up to 24 hour wear and this has a nice pump too. So yeah there's that. <laughs> so we're getting through these base products fairly quickly. Next up, I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 180. And uh, another one with a pump. So, yes, looking forward to trying those. Okay, so next up we have powders. Firstly, I have this uh, Catrice Cosmetics New Delusion Loose Powder Transparent Matte Fixing Powder. Um, just looks like a, a white powder. So, interested to see if that's any good. This is the one I'm most excited about. I have the Laura Mercier. It just I don't need these boxes. I don't know why I keep things in boxes. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder Glow. I've been so excited to try this and I'm pretty sure that this is the one that Nikki Raven loves. So Nikki if you're watching let me know. If it is how good is it? <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this one. Um, I've just heard so many good things about the Laura Mercier uh, powder and I saw the word glow and thought hmm, especially in these dark wintry months glow is exactly what I want so there is that um, next up again in the box but I think you probably need to see the box for this one um, I have got the Sosu contour on the go cream stick and it is in the shade cool and I'm actually dipping my toes into the world of cream contour. I've tried a cream blush so far. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, just a thumbs up like a like a lipstick. So yeah, I am looking forward to giving that a go. We will get rid of that box as well because we don't need all these boxes. And then next for face products, I have, you will have probably, if you've been watching my channel, um, then you will have seen uh, that I got this. Um, yeah, it's still in my yet to try. It's Typhoid Mary. Uh, stay home, save nine lives. It's from Pout and Shout. And this is the colour here. Let's have a little swatch. So that we can see. Um, do it on the back of my hand. Oh, look at that. It's got some pigment. Look at that colour. I'm not swatching very well. I don't usually swatch on the back of my hand, but look at that colour. That's so nice. Oh, looking forward to trying that one out because I. The Chatty Cathy one that I have, I absolutely love, it is fast become my favourite, absolute favourite blush. I've got it on now. Um, but yeah, this one looks uh, very interesting too. And she does paint them herself. Herself? She does paint them herself. 
and she does use upcycled recycled packaging in which to do so so I love that okay so I did forget one uh, face product I have this palette here it's the Revolution Soph X highlighter palette let's open her up and these are the highlighters here I've heard so many good things um, kept putting it off but I love the look of it I'm just gonna swatch a couple of these so I'm gonna swatch um, this one here this kind of purpley colored one and then I am going to swatch this top one here so I already dug my finger in something of course I did so first the purpley one wow okay that that's got some shine and then the kind of champagne gold one. Oh wow okay i'm i'm starting to see what people are raving about um so yeah it looks really good looking forward to trying that out okay so moving on to lip products uh, firstly, I did pick up an Essence uh, Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner Waterproof uh, with Sharpener, as I discovered uh, with the eyeliners. Was it a no, it was a another lip liner. Crazy. Um, anyways, <laughs> oh, I'm pulling the sharpener out instead of the lid off. I got this in the shade. Where does it say the shade? Um, hmm, waterproof. Yes, eh. does it sit on there? Ah, so I got this in the shade Passionate, and this is to go with my red liquid lipstick uh, from Makeup by Lisa. Um, I thought I really needed. A liner with that one so there is that to try and next up I have a two Catrice lipsticks uh, the first one is Catrice demi matte lipstick um, in the shade most flattering petal pink this was uh, free along with purchase I didn't choose this color don't know if that's me at all um, but I'm willing to give it a go and I want to see what the formula is like it's really kind of it looks almost like velvet I don't know if you can see the texture that shows up on there but it looks like velvet so that's going to be interesting the next one I did choose myself and that is the Catrice Cosmetics Pumping Gel Lipstick or Power Plumping Gel Lipstick and this is in the shade 080 Feminista <laughs> this is in the shade Feminista and this one is an absolutely stunning bright orange so so excited to try that oh and it actually has engraved on it I don't know if you can see it says be brave oh my god I love that that's so cute and I'm so easily pleased but yeah that looks so good I need some cheering up there's nothing like a bright lipstick to cheer you up when you are feeling miserable we won't go on about that I'm still in constant pain we'll leave it at that and then next up I have this Ila Masca uh, an anti matter lipstick in the shade Energy and it is this absolutely stunning purple so I I love a purple lipstick so very very much looking forward to trying that one out um, next I have a Lime Crime Velveteens in the shade Moonstone um, so yeah this one let's take this out is this color how beautiful does that look oh. um, I got this at the same time as cashmere 
um, cashmere I love so hoping I'm gonna love that too um, next up we have Colourpop ultra matte lip in the shade fragile things and let me show you the color of this one so that's the color of this one so it's a kind of a nudie ish color we will show let's give that a little swatch actually let's see what color oh okay that's like a movie color I like that like a brownie mauve I don't know maybe I'm colorblind but uh, definitely looking forward to trying that out and then lastly for lip products I have the melt liquid set lipstick in the shade toke let's take this out of its box um, that in its box for now um but there's the packaging i don't know if you can see the melt written on it it just kind of doesn't really show up um but this look let's just oh i'm absolutely terrible doing this look at that color oh oh my god I am in love oh so so pretty look at that green oh so that's in the shade toke um that's definitely going to be going on my lips very very soon so that is lip products done I'll take them off before it dries down and right I have uh i i love these um i picked up another essence long lasting eye pencil i've got it in cool down these are brilliant in the waterline they just they last so well but that's cool down so uh looking forward to trying that i'm looking forward to trying everything i don't know why i keep saying it the same thing over and over again um i I have a new mascara to try. It's the Sport FX Waterproof Long Lasting Mascara. Um, this is its 24 hour staying power, smudge proof, waterproof, guaranteed to last the entire day. So let's take this out of, it comes in like a squeezy tube. It's a bit bizarre. And this is what the brush looks like. It's not my usual, um, kind of brush that I would I would use I usually like the plasticky ones but I wanted to give it a go so that we are I don't need the box let's get rid of that okay now on to eyeshadows etc oh firstly I have one well, another Artitude Cosmetics K Kit water activated liner I've got this in the shade Harmony and it's like a deep foresty green so excited to try that so so excited um i love these these k kit liners the water activated liners from artitude cosmetics i can highly recommend these and she's just brought out a load more new shades there's like 20 new shades amazing absolutely amazing check that out and then next i have this loose pigment from makeup by lisa in sea spray i don't know how i'm going to no it's got a seal on it <laughs> like a keep fresh seal um don't know how well you can see by that it's kind of like a greeny loose pigment um so i've got that to try you will have seen these um these single shadows uh, coming up along with that one, the loose pigment I just showed you. Um, if you have seen my video on new makeup from Makeup by Lisa, um, so yeah, I can link that in the cards up here. <laughs> um, so you can check that out if you want. Um, next up, these are all from Makeup by Lisa, um, new single shadows. 
This one is Charisma. Look at that. How pretty. Um, so yeah, these are all kind of duo chrome, multi-chrome, amazing. Um, this one is in Sea Spray. Look at that. If you want to see what these uh, swatches look like, go back to that video. Because um, I swatched them all on my arm. Um, but I will be trying them on my eyes at some point soon. As you are about to find out, I have a lot of eyeshadow to try. Um, the next one up is Aurora. And she looks like this. This one, that's my daughter talking. <laughs> this one is um, like a pink with the pink, a blue with pink reflex. It is absolutely stunning. It's like it's got a bit of green as well. It is, it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. So yeah, looking forward to trying that. Um, and lastly, for these single shadows, this is Spellbound. For any of you that know me, you will know this is the one I'm most excited about because it's green. <laughs> so that is them. I do have um, a couple of pairs of um, the Artitude Cosmetics um, False Lashes um, that I haven't tried yet. Uh, the first ones are in the style Poison and they look like that. It's quite shiny. <laughs> I'm... I will get the hang of the ring light and how you do things at some point. It's new to me. Oh, but yeah, that's them. They look really fluffy and beautiful. I have tried Envy and Rebel, um, two of the styles, and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable, so easy to apply. I obviously use the Attitude Cosmetics Catitude Liner and Lash Adhesive in one, which is amazing. It's like you put on your black liquid eyeliner and then you just stick your lash to it. It's fantastic. Um, anyway, I'll stop rambling. Uh, the other pair that I have got are called Flirty. How beautiful are they? So yes, two new pairs of lashes to try. Now on to the bit that most of you are probably going to be the most excited about because it's eyeshadow palettes. Now... There's a few, there's a few. So let's just jump on in. Firstly, I have the ColourPop Main Squeeze. And on the inside, this is what she looks like. I have had a bit of a swatch. <laughs> I kind of cheated a little bit because uh, I was so intrigued. Um, so yeah, that's a little monochromatic, monochromatic palette. Beautiful. So yes, I have that one to try. Let's no, let's not swatch that one. And next up I have the oh that's still in its out of packaging, the sample beauty, the immensity palette. And I'm just gonna chuck away the outer packaging and she looks like this. How beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Love me a rainbow palette. So very, very much looking forward to having a play with that. I've heard some really good things about um, Sample Beauties. Uh, get that thing back in there. Uh, Sample Beauties formula. So uh, yeah, if any of you have got that particular eyeshadow palette. I've got another one actually coming up from Sample Beauty also. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and whilst we're going through all of these, if you see any that you really want to see looks done with, you'd like me to prioritise, then drop me a comment in the comment section below and I will see what I can do for you. <laughs> and then next up, we have, I have swatched this. Um, there's a video that I can link up here. <laughs> Swatching both this one and the Beauty Bay 16 brights palette if my memory serves me correct this is the pastels and this is them uh, very excited to try these out especially as i have the p louise base 
Uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, definitely one I am looking forward to. And this one, I, this has been discontinued, but just, oh, <laughs> look at that. It's the Colourpop My Little Pony palette. I had to have it. I had to. Um, that's what she looks like on the inside. Um, I don't know how many of you will have this palette, whether or not this is something you will want to see looks with. I had to have it because... I can't speak. I had to have it because it was My Little Pony. And this just takes me back to my childhood. Um, look. And the names, you've got Butterscotch, Blossom, Starshine, Applejack. Oh, so exciting. If you would like to see this, then let me know. Um, obviously, with it being discontinued, unless I'm asked to, I probably won't uh, do a video on it. But we shall see. Some of you might have it. And then next up, also in the outer packaging, take that off. Well, I'll show you it. It's the Nabla Soul Blooming get rid of the art packaging and look at the details on that so pretty um, and if I can open her up let's move that this is what she looks like so so excited to try this so excited I'm sure Angelica Lirama likes this one from what I remember. Um, you'll have to kind of bear with me a bit because my memory sucks. I am on a very high dose of painkillers and I have had no sleep again. So I've been awake since yesterday morning. Um, it is now lunchtime on Sunday. I'm hoping to get this edited and uploaded today, but it depends how long this is. So we shall see. But yeah, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, that is the Soul Blooming from Nabla. And then look at this. Ta -da. This is the Glamlight Pizza Veggie Lovers palette. I have been desperate to try Glamlight's formula. And for any of you that know me, this, this, these are my colours. These are my colours. This one in particular, or well, these two, I am super, super excited about. And this one, well, all of them really, but look at that. I am so, so excited to try this formula. I've been so good as well. I have not touched them. I'm waiting for a proper first impressions of not only the palette, but the brand. So very, very exciting stuff. And then next up, I'll block those together because I have three Juvia's Place ones. Um, so firstly, I have the Deuce by Juvia's. And look at that. Quite a dreamy, a dreamy kind of colour story. But I like it. I do like it. I like because you've got a deep dark colour. You've got a bright you've got some kind of mid-tones and Juvia's Place shimmers are the bomb. I love them. So this is joining my collection. Very happy about that. <laughs> um, and then next I picked up the Zulu by Juvia's. Um, some of these um, products, or a lot of these products, have been in my collection for quite a while. Um, just hadn't got around to using them. Um, when I did my collection videos, um, some of these were already here and in the box, uh, waiting to be trialed. So I didn't show them in that. Um, so this is the inside of the Zulu. Look at that. I did have a bit of a swatch. <laughs> I had to swatch the, these two in particular. Look at those colours. Should we have a little swatch? As soon as I've already dipped my fingers, let's just do, I'm just gonna do the middle row because that's where my heart is lying. So the middle row, 
and that's the map. Oh, look at that. Um, the shimmer green. Oh my god. And look at them. Now, Juvia really knows how to make a shimmer. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I am so excited to try that one out. Again, excited to try them all, but well, I'm going to shut up. No, I'm not because we're talking palettes. Okay, so the last one that I have got from Juvia's that's new is the Warrior 3. Now, this packaging, look at that. So beautiful. And inside that artwork, that's really something else, isn't it? Um, but these are the colours. Another one, and I have been good. I haven't touched this one, so yet, but I will be at some point soon. I say soon. I've got all of these to get through, and due to all of these, and knowing I've got stuff coming for Christmas too, I am on a no buy until I work my way through all of this, unless something out of this world that I really, really, really cannot live without comes up. Which is unlikely because my wonderful boyfriend has ordered me the Beetlejuice Melt, um, the recently deceased palette for Christmas. I'm so excited for that. So excited. Um, so yeah, they, probably I will be on a complete no, but I do have a couple of things still yet to arrive. So there will be videos coming up on some new things coming in. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> Um, I have this um, HNB Cosmetics Holly Boom Dare to be Different and this is what she looks like. Um, I'm super excited to try this. I can't work out if that's a shimmery black and a shimmery white. Um, they look to be quite shimmery but look at that. That's a colour story that really inspires me. I can see so many looks I can create with this. So, and I haven't tried, obviously, the formula as yet either. So, that's going to be an exciting one for me to try. And next up, we have the Beauty Bay Book of Magic. And I'm a bit later than everyone else trying it, but hey-ho. <laughs> and this is what she looks like. What a dream. What a tree. I'm so excited to play with this. This was a birthday present. So, so excited. As was the next one, a birthday present. And this is the Sample Beauty The Equaliser. This is the first one. Um, which is the far more interesting one in my eyes. Um, second one doesn't look too bad, but this is this is a me palette, and I love that you've got like rubber ducks, so like the corresponding matte to shimmer. The names match up. So you've got rubber duck, tequila lime, cup of tea, <laughs> queen of hearts. Um, Jibber Jabber, Thunder Lightning, Gin Tonic, Adam Eve, Hocus Pocus. Fantastic. It's such a wonderful idea. Um, I don't really think I need to say anything. Greens, blues, pinks, purples, yellows, oranges. I... Oh, there's no words. I'm so excited to try this. Um, so yes, that's my second sample beauty palette that I have in my new box. Um, oh, we are down to the final two, um, which I'm really excited about because the first one is the Luna Beauty Life's a Drag. And 
I have to keep this in its box. I don't even know why. I can't even open the box. I have no idea why I feel the need to do that. Because look at that packaging. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And this is what she looks like. Half neutral, half colourful. So perfect, really. This is, if I fancy doing a neutral look, I've got the colours there. If I fancy doing a colourful look, I've got the colours there too. Um, super, super excited to try this because uh, I have heard so many amazing things about the Luna Beauty formula. And, uh, and also, look at that mirror. I don't know if you can see. Look, look at that. How pretty is that? And it says, be a queen. Yes. Yes, we shall be a queen. It comes with a brush, which also looks very good. I'm, I'm going to shut up. Um, Painkillers have gone to my head. We're going with that. And finally, I have... The Be Perfect Carnival 3 Love Tahiti. And I don't know how I haven't touched this yet. Um, look at that. And oh, the inside. Most of you will have seen this already. Probably all of you. But look, I have to show you. Just, it has everything. Absolutely everything everything you could want i'm so excited um so so excited i'm not touching it right now i'm going to wait to film with it um this might be the first palette that i do uh two or three looks one video no two or three looks one palette however you do it i haven't done one of them yet so I'm thinking I might give that a go with this. Um, so yeah, still got the bubble wrap in there and everything. I don't know why I'm putting that one back in the box, but I am. So yeah, that's that's everything in my makeup that I have that I haven't tried yet box. So yeah, the, I did tell you there was a lot. I did say there's a lot. So if there's anything in particular that you would like to see uh, sooner rather than later, then drop me a comment. Let's have a chat. If you have any of these palettes um, or any of the products I've shown you, let me know what you think of them. Let, let's have a chat about, well, just makeup. Let's just have a chat. Let me know your thoughts on any of these products you have. Are there any of them that you would like to get? Are they on your wish list? Um, so yeah, let's chat in the comment section below. And I am going to leave it at that because this has probably gone on for way too long as it is. I've got to edit this and try and get it up today. So if you're seeing this on Sunday, then I have succeeded. If you're seeing this Monday, then I failed. So it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to let you guys get on. I'm going to go and take some more painkillers. And uh, yeah, th that's that's it for this. Um, I will have a lot of Christmas content coming up starting from Tuesday. So I have so many ideas. Um, I'm really excited. I am Christmas mad, so expect to see a lot of Christmas content coming up. So if you love Christmas and you are not subscribed already, Christmas and colourful makeup, then you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the place to be for Christmas colourful makeup. Um, yeah thank you so much for joining me today if you have made it right to the end of this then well done <laughs> you are a trooper so yeah 
Again, if you're not subscribed already, then I'd love to have you join me. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please like it. Give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just nice to know you're there. <laughs> so thank you again. I will see you again very, very soon with some Christmas content. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you.